Hi guys, Sweaty here, and beforehand I would like to say that I do not think this is the best way or the only way to do things. This is just what I have found to work for me. You might have to tweak it to your own playstyle. Second, I had not come up with this loadout I found in a guide. Thank you to the Blue Magician for allowing me to make this video. And so, without further ado, enjoy. Hi guys, Sweaty here, and welcome to this quick, short, light assault class guide. This guide will give you helpful tips, a great loadout, all in under 5 minutes. And so, please sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay guys, so we're gonna go over what I use for a loadout. As you can see, I call this loadout the beginner's build because that's what it was called in the guide and it works pretty well for beginners. And so, I just use the primary and the secondary weapons, pretty default. And on my primary, I have the GDR reflex, I mean, the GD reflex times 2 and then I have the forward grip as opposed to the laser sight because since I am NC I get a lot more recoil on my weapons but if you are TR or VS make sure that you are using the laser sight for those close quarters encounters and then I sometimes use a suppressor if I'm sneaking around bases but most of the times I just keep it off because it decreases accuracy and then for my secondary I don't have any attachments on my secondary I sometimes use the commissioner but not always and then for my suit slot, I have the ammunition belt 2. You're definitely going to want to get this to max level because it's very, very useful at max level. And then I have jump jets 5 for my ability. 5 or 6 is okay. I haven't gotten a chance to try 6, but I'm pretty sure it would basically just be the same. And then I use smoke grenades or frag grenades. I use smoke grenades mostly because it's more tactical and it allows me to do a lot more things with my squad. And then for utility I have to use C4 obviously except I haven't just gotten the second stick C4 upgrade but I'm definitely working towards that right now so some general strategies that I always like to follow when using the light assault are always moving so that you're harder to target to hit from the enemy and always having the high ground so that you can get the drop on all your enemies and if you have the ammo belt started in at a high enough rank then you can try to go for some suppressive fire in conjunction with your smoke grenades keep the enemy confused and distracted and resilient from moving forward and so always be pressuring the points and go through the go through the entrances more less expected like windows and ledges and learn the layouts of small bases and small buildings and facilities and go the roads untraveled like find small little trails that you can go off on and nobody will expect you to be there and lead the charge into the battle because you can clear out enemies a lot more easily and effective than some of the other classes and I use this loadout at close to mid-range contact and I also burst at 25 meters and beyond in 5 to 6 round burst. So those are just some general strategies that you can use with the light assault and I think that pretty much wraps it up for now and remember I did not make this guide. Thank you to the Blue Magician for making it and uh, I guess I'll just see you in the next one.